Hello and welcome back. And today we want to talk about how to synchronize a Terramaster NAS with Microsoft OneDrive. Maybe you've got an old Outlook email address or a Hotmail that you've had since the early 2000s. Let's be honest, we were all there at the beginning with Hotmail and MSN Messenger. If you've got a bunch of online cloud space that's been granted to you, it can often be very, very useful to synchronize your Terramaster NAS with that third party space online. Don't get me wrong, I do believe that NASes are still the very best way to store your data in the biggest, safest way with things like encryption, three-stage um, verification and more, as well as, quite simply, the ability to pull a network cable out of your NAS to stop people having access, something you'll never truly have control of on a third-party cloud, as well as uh, third-party clouds being a little bit easier to hack in the long term since the protocols are so heavily analysed. That said, with so many devices backing up to third-party cloud platforms by default, look at Google Phones and Google Drive, as well as the ease and low price and often free space that's offered to you, there are lots of ways in which you can harness and take advantage of those cloud platforms, allowing you to create a synchronized area whereby some folders on your NAS, or the whole NAS if you so choose, can be backed up to a cloud platform and create another step in your backup strategy. In real terms, what that means is, say for example on your NAS, you've got photos of your kids, photos of your wedding day, basically core photos that are genuinely priceless in that they can never be replaced if lost. These small but key files can be backed up to a third-party cloud space where OneDrive will offer you, I believe, five gig for free, Dropbox give you two gig, and Google Drive, there's lots of ways to get 5, 20, 50 gig of free online space and you can synchronize these folders on your NAS with that cloud platform completely for free with the added bonus that you can enable encryption on the NAS so that even if someone does hack into these cloud platforms, they can't access those files because of the encryption being military grade 256 bit encryption. So how do we do it? Well. On the Terramaster NAS platform, there used to be lots of individual applications for each of the different um, third-party cloud platforms for you to synchronize with. However, in the latest version of TOS, in the beta section, you can now download the Cloud Sync application. This allows you to back up your uh, NAS to these third-party cloud platforms via a single portal interface. So, we open up the application here and it's completely for free and easy to download. Once it's installed, we select the OneDrive option here. We've already done videos for Dropbox and Google Drive. Hopefully these videos are live. And then click Next. An API pop-up window will appear. And from here, double check in the corner that the padlock symbol is showing and that you're utilizing the live.com or Outlook email um, website. From here, it will, let, it will ask you to seek permission from the Microsoft side to synchronize and activate um, and interact with your Terramaster NAS. Click yes, and then another pop-up will appear from the Terramaster side asking for your permission to synchronize with this other domain. Click agree, and now we can begin synchronization of either the entire Terramaster NAS or individual files and folders with our cloud platform. We have to name it, so for this one, we're just going to call it OneDrive. And from here, we can choose which files and folders on the NAS we want to work with. So let's go for the public folder. We click confirm, and from there, we can go to the cloud directory, and this is going to be the directory on the cloud platform that we synchronize with. I've only just created this OneDrive um, area for this video, so there are no folders present, but you can create and choose file folders on your cloud platform if you so choose. Next, we can talk about the different kinds of synchronization. Bidirectional, cloud to NAS, or NAS to cloud. What that means in real terms is, with bidirectional, the folder on your NAS and the folder on your cloud platform are gonna be in constant synchronization. That means that if you delete a file from one, it gets deleted from the other. This is really useful for the people that are going to be taking advantage of sharing uh, NAS folders and files with other business or home cloud platforms. So if you, if one of your clients or customers has a OneDrive um, area of space or even a Google Drive or a Dropbox, what that means is you can synchronize a folder on the NAS with their cloud platform 
but thanks to the bi-directional option, you can ensure that if you are updating files and folders or that you've got different versions of it, you can delete it and ensure that your customer only has the latest version. These two options here allow you to synchronize from only one direction. So you can check, you can set it so that it synchronizes from your NAS, I'm sorry, the cloud to the NAS or the NAS to the cloud. The result being that if you upload files, if you've got files on your um, OneDrive account, say one gig of files that you've now synchronized with the NAS, you can then delete those files from your OneDrive to make space because those files are now on your NAS. They will always be there. And if you add, if you replace that one gig of files with one gig of new files on the OneDrive, it will just add it to the NAS, thereby creating two gig of files on the NAS and you've still only got the one gig of files on your cloud uh, platform. The other direction, of course, is exactly the same thing, but utilizing the NAS as the primary storage, with the cloud keeping every file regardless if you delete it off the NAS. We're gonna go for bi-directional, just because that's the most straightforward and the one that people request the most. It then asks you to verify the choices you've made, and then you just click confirm. Then it adds the synchronized task to your task list. Now from here, you can run a lot of options. You can choose to pause the synchronization that's happening live or delete the connection if you so choose. Selecting task list, if you have multiple tasks, will all be listed here. So you can run multiple cloud backups to multiple accounts at once. So if you are in the market for getting some free online cloud storage, you can go to all the different vendors that are supported and add them all one by one. I know that with Google, you can get anywhere from five to 50 gig of space pretty free, pretty easily. With OneDrive offering five to 25 gig and Dropbox somewhere between two and five gig for free. All of them can be listed here and you can synchronize with those individual platforms, ensuring that in the control panel, you make sure that you create an encrypted folder first, just to make sure that that data is lovely and safe. If you go to the settings options, you can change the way it backs up, thereby making sure that only the right kinds of files are backed up, as well as ensuring that the system backs up the way you want to, and you can limit the upload and download of synchronized files to make sure it doesn't eat all the bandwidth and network speed of everyone else in your home or office. But that's it, it's incredibly straightforward, and if you do have available cloud space online and you use encryption, I see no reason not to use this facility as an extra tier in your backup strategy. I'm gonna wrap things up now. We've got lots and lots of stuff to discuss, but I will see you guys on the next video. And it looks like right now, this could be one of the best apps on the TerraMaster platform, but let's wait and see. See you on the next video.